Another summer is over and it's time to start school. That means lots of school bus rides are coming up. We left early, so we should make it to the bus stop today with plenty of time to spare. My name is Pride. I've been around kids for a long time, and I've seen how they behave around bus stops and in school buses. A lot of people think that a dog doesn't know what's going on in the world, but a lot of us dogs do. I walk with them to the bus stop every day. Not much gets past me. I help make sure these kids play it safe each and every day. Today is Emily's first bus ride. She's a little bit nervous, but she'll be okay because she has already learned the basics about being on and around school buses. There are several rules you need to learn, but they aren't too hard to remember if you just think of my name, Pride. That's P R I D E, and it stands for Pay attention to the danger zone, respect others and the bus, inside stay seated, don't run. Exit and move out of the danger zone. Let's take a look at each part and see what they mean. The first thing to remember is to pay attention to the danger zone. What is the danger zone? It's the area around the bus. When you are in the danger zone, it can be hard for the driver to see you. That's why you must stay out of the danger zone before getting on and off the bus. While waiting to get on the school bus, stay in line. And don't fool around or act rowdy. <laughs> If you are running around or playing at the bus stop when the bus arrives, you could be in the danger zone and not know it. Wait patiently and stay out of the street. People driving in cars don't expect kids to be in the street. Once the bus arrives, get on the bus in an orderly way, one at a time, and please do not push or shove. The main thing to remember is to give the school bus plenty of room and stay out of the danger zone. Respect others and the bus. When inside the bus, it is very important to respect the bus driver, other students, and the bus. How can you do this? It's easy. First of all, you must cooperate with the bus driver. The school bus driver is a person too, just like you, your friends, and family. Bus drivers have a really big responsibility driving kids to and from school every day. Their mind needs to be kept on driving, other drivers on the road, and the safety of students. You can help the driver keep everyone safe by following the bus rules and obeying your driver's instructions. Another way of respecting others is having good manners. Be polite to the driver and your fellow riders. That way, everyone can get along much better. Be sure to keep the noise level down. When riding on a school bus, there is already a lot of noise from traffic and stuff outside. Your driver needs to hear a fire truck siren or someone talking to them on their communication radio. 84, 86, day 16. Loud noise also bothers the other bus riders, your friends. Remember, everyone has two voices: an inside voice and an outside voice. Your outside voice is for the playground. Your inside voice is for places like the classroom and the school bus. How do you respect the bus? It starts by keeping the bus clean. We want our school buses to look nice. Please do your part to help keep your bus clean. It's your bus, so take pride in the way it looks. Even if it's not your mess, help out the bus driver by picking up any paper or trash when you see it. Eating or drinking is not allowed on the bus. Food and drinks can spill on the floor and cause someone to slip or fall. <coughs> Spilled food and drinks also makes a mess that someone will have to clean up. Don't throw things inside the bus. <coughs> you could hurt someone on the bus or distract the driver. The bus driver needs to watch the road and other cars. Throwing something out the window is littering. Not only that, if you throw something out the window, you could cause a car to crash. Treat the inside of the bus nice. Anyone caught marking up or hurting the bus will get in big trouble. Remember, respect others and the bus. Inside, stay seated. When inside the bus, be sure to stay in your seat. Getting out of your seat when the bus is moving is dangerous. <coughs> because you can fall down and get hurt. When in your seat. Always face forward with your arms and legs out of the aisle until the bus stops at the end of the bus ride. 
Be sure to keep your head, hands, and feet inside the bus at all times. You don't want to get them shut in a window or hit anything passing by outside the bus, such as a stop sign, a bush, or a tree. That would really hurt. Remember, always stay seated at all times. It will help keep you safe. Don't run. Don't ever run for the bus. Be sure to leave for the bus stop early so you have enough time to get there safely. Running after the bus is dangerous. That was close. Running for the bus can cause you to trip and fall. You could be hit by the bus or by another car. So never ever run or chase after the bus. It's better to miss the bus than to get hurt. Exit and move out of the danger zone. When you exit the school bus, walk away from it. Don't ever try to go back and get anything you left on the bus. The driver may not know you're coming and drive away, putting you in the danger zone with a moving bus. If you forget something on the bus, you can get it the next time you ride. Don't stand near the bus to talk to friends through the windows. It puts you in the danger zone. If you drop something near the bus, don't try to pick it up. Bending down by the bus is very dangerous. It makes it hard for the driver to see you. If you drop something by the bus, tell your bus driver. Your driver will get it for you. Always exit and move out of the danger zone. Well, that's all for now, kids. Those are the main rules for riding on the school bus. Just remember my name, Pride. That's P R I D E. It stands for Pay attention to the danger zone. Respect others and the bus. Inside, stay seated. Don't run. Exit and move out of the danger zone. And don't forget, I'll be watching you. My name is Pride. You'll be hearing from me again soon.